Yo you guys, what is going on? It's Blazonary here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be doing something super special today. My agency ended up getting in contact with a shelter that is located in Charlotte that I believe I've been to before. And the shelter itself is looking for donations, clean sneakers, clean clothing. I'm gonna be spreading the holiday cheer and I'm gonna be going to the shelter. I have two shelters I'm going to. Today is called The Relatives. Tomorrow is going to be with my mom's work. There's a lot of really nice things in here. Nike jacket, Adidas t-shirt, the hundreds, bunch of unisex h and t-shirts and then we have a ton of pants in a couple different sizes i have a couple shoes in my size that i'm going to be donating as well right now i have to make three pit stops first pit stop i have to make is my storage unit because i'm going to be bringing a nice suitcase and i have some merch that i also want to go ahead and throw in there as well and then the second place get some food and the third place that i'm going to be going to is my homie anthony he and i have been in contact for probably close to six years at this point we've known each other in the whole sneaker and streetwear community and he owns a shop i'm going to be getting a ton of pairs to donate to the shelter which is awesome i have access to sizes with this shop that i wouldn't normally have for example youth sizing the shop's gonna have that for us all right let's hit it just coming through to grab my suitcase all these are larger sizes right there super excited this holiday season to just give back it's something super important to me i have a pretty interesting reason as to why we're giving back to a runaway shelter specifically i'm gonna go in that a little bit more throughout the video <laughs> Next destination, food. 298 frozen patties later. We just got to the shop. Battle walk upstairs, get the pears. I mean, I kind of want to let you just see what you think's acceptable as far as like, what you'd like to Oh, I mean, jeez. It's probably like bro. 60 pairs of shoes. I mean, it's just a bunch of stuff we have. So. Oh my god. <laughs> 60 that's why, that's pairs? Why I was like, yeah, dude, I'm happy to be a part of this. 60 pairs? This is incredible, Just so you know, there's like bro. a lot more, and I just haven't, I just want to see if they're up to your pump. Like, visually, all the shoes are mad clean. Check out this right here. And we're going to two shelters, actually, so tomorrow we're doing a second one. There's some stuff people would definitely pay for in here, too. All these Team J's and stuff, they're from NBA players. Really? Yeah, they're all like, most of them are all like sample tagged and everything. Yeah, like see, these are from, I think these are from Hakeem Nix, this pair. From a professional athlete, I guess I could say. Cause some are Panthers, some are Hornets. Okay. And then some are just like some misc. Fives over here, got some Air Maxes. So clean. Man, these are, these are insane. There's a beater pair of Gammas right here. <laughs> And we're gonna try and get a mixture of sizes. Like we got size 11, then these right here, these look pretty small. We got like a size eight, perfect. You know, everybody's situation is different. We wanna accommodate everyone. The most sizes we can, the better. I hope some of the kids know what they are too, so they, they get some pretty fresh yeah. days for Christmas. That'd be awesome. Yeah, just the excitement of knowing what they are could be good. Here's a brand new size 15, 14, I think. Take that, I think that'd be our biggest one. Yeah, that's the big Just in case. Oh, these are sick. Yeah, these are actually older too. These are from 2007. Back when zooms were crazy. All right, let's go bring these down. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow for the rest. Shout out your shop and everything. Like, let people know where you're at and why you wanted to spread the goodness and holiday cheer this season. What's up, guys? I'm Figs from Soul Station 704. This is my shop here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We do buy, sell, trade. Uh, we just donated about 50 pairs of shoes for Blazing Dairy's charity. We just love showing love, man. We get a lot of love given to us, so we just spread it back. We do a lot for our city as well as, you know what I'm saying, everybody we can. Appreciate y'all messing with us, man. Dude, I got your brother's shoes for your dad in 2012 Christmas. Like, yeah. I remember. <laughs> That's insane, man. Thank you so much. Sir. I really appreciate it, man. Yeah, I, I, was, I was literally going in with like five, 10 pairs, perfect. <laughs> 50? 60 pairs like that's so good because that means tomorrow we're gonna have so much to give to the other place getting the community of charlotte together and it's just great to see everybody tie in together to make something great happen like this yeah. we also have some more donations right here we have some thorlo's socks so we have a ton of different sizes in all these different boxes each box has as you can see a ton of socks in them so they're all different types of socks. We got like winter socks, summer socks, ski socks. This video, I haven't really talked about spreading awareness yet and why we're doing this. And I really wanted to bring my dad in on the subject. So why are we spreading awareness for this type of charity and also to uh, 
I told the I told him before off camera that we got 60 pairs from Anthony. So do you have That's anything to say about that? Incredible. Too? Yeah. yeah, really. Thank you so much for stepping up. I mean, there's so many people out there that need this, and and we're happy to be able to touch at least the city of Charlotte, who does show us a tremendous amount of love. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is a personal this is a personal endeavor for us and our family. I mean. Luckily, Giancarlo and Leo didn't have to go through some of the hardships that I went through as a youth. You know, they, we gave them the basic necessities and they took care of the rest. But uh, for me growing up, I didn't even have the basic necessities. After about age 15, I was homeless on my own, living on the street uh, up until about 17, 18 years old. Um, so I know very, very well firsthand exactly what this is, what it feels like to be on the street every single night to crawl up in a, in a slide somewhere with a one t-shirt and one sweatshirt and 20 degrees and hopefully wake up in the next morning with your fingers and toes. So, you know, come a long way, you know, definitely through hard work and perseverance. You know, that's, that's a message that we could definitely spread to everyone. There's nothing that can stop you. There's nothing that should ever be able to stop you. It's all about how hard you want it, how bad you want it, and just never giving up. I want to give back and show you guys, you know, that you can do this as well. Whatever it is, if you guys want to get in the spirit of giving in the donation season, then this is, this is your time. Very excited. This is something I've been looking forward to for a little bit now. And my dad is like the biggest inspiration for me to do this. Just giving back to the community, man, it honestly just feels great. Because what we do on Fridays, we have a huge holiday like party where the young adults are either homeless or have aged out of the foster care system. And so they get to come down and pick, depending on how many items we have, they get to pick through and choose like items that we've been collecting. So right, we put the shoes on the table. A bunch of different sizes, like jeans and Adidas shirts. And... Yeah, that was that was a personal pair of a player. I don't remember who it was. Oh, there's not too little. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, a, it's a sample tag worn well, nice by the basketball player. player. The relative's name actually came from when they would hear the young kids or the young adults tell people where they were staying, they would say, the we're staying with relatives. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, so yeah. that's kind of where the name came from. I'm Carrington Byers. I'm currently 22 years old. I came to stay at the relatives when I was 14. I actually stayed here like maybe two or three times. Um, I was homeless, didn't really have any family. It was nice I was actually eating out the dumpster. I can say that the relatives really changed my life. From the relatives I went to foster care, I was there for about three or four years. I uh, graduated high school with the college did all that so now I'm just coming back to show these kids there's actually you know a way out whatever situation you're going through there's always a good light at the end of the tunnel. I was staying with my aunt for a while but you know me and her had a little situation so I couldn't stay with her and I found about this place. There's a lot of kids that you know they was in the same situation as me that I knew at the time they were actually on the street some of them are still on the street. You ever try to reach out to those kids that the guys now and the, the men now probably? It's a couple kids uh I've seen, I've talked to, they're actually doing good, so. There's another program called Journey Place. Uh, it's a transitional home from men from 18 to 21. Coming out of foster care, um, they set you up like in a house. It's like a dorm situation type thing. And um, they teach you about like money management, interview skills, things like that, just to get you ready for workforce or what you want to do with your life. For prom, they might buy a suit for you, things like little things like that that uh, you know help you. So Carrington, you know, was in the crisis center. He went to our journey place program, which is that transitional living home. And now he's living independently for the last, what? It's almost two years. Two years now, two, independently. Two, yeah, two and a half years. Yeah, and yeah. still comes in, checks in with us. You know, if he needs something, he lets us know, but he's pretty much flying on his own now, <laughs> so. I just wanted to know, um, get a message to the kids. There's always, you know, a way out, you don't have to, let your situation determine what you gonna do in the future. Mm -hmm. There's times, you know, I was, I would find myself crying, but I'm blessed now, so yeah. that's it. So Safe Place Program is actually a national program that we manage though in Charlotte, Mecklenburg area, um, the Relatives Organization does. And what it is, is any kid can walk into any location that has the Safe Place sign, 
So you'll see them everywhere now. Quick trips or Chick-fil-A's or churches. Every bus in the city of Charlotte has one on them. And a kid can know that that means that they have a safe place to go to. So the people and the staff at those locations know to call us and then we go and pick up that child and bring them to our crisis center. I'll tell you a little story though that will showcase why safe place is so important. So we celebrate every March, we have what's called Robert's Walk. Um, and Robert was a young man that was staying in Freedom Park on a bench um, after he got out of the juvenile correctional system and his parents had left him before his 18th birthday. They just packed up all of their belongings and completely left the home. And he went home when he was released and to find it empty. So he ended up homeless. He was sleeping on a bench in Freedom Park. And one day he was walking up the street and saw this sign and knew from school that that meant he would have a safe place to go. So he knocked on the door um, and the staff said, come on in. They you know, met his most basic needs first, fed him, gave him a shower. Um, and then they let him tell his story. And then the next two weeks before his 18th birthday, worked quickly to get him into our resource center uptown, helped him find a job. And so every year we celebrate Robert seeing this sign um, with our Robert's Walk. So we just finished up and that was honestly like I was talking to my parents and them off camera and everything and that was honestly a really awesome experience. Seeing those kids happy just really put a smile on my face as well and you know staying positive. Hearing Carrington's story and all that just I wanted to make about them. Just get the message out there, spread awareness that you know if you are in a bad situation there is hope. You can find somewhere to go. And it is the next day so today we are going to be going to the second place that my mom's job has organized the event with. She asked me to be a part of it. Of course I would be and I'm going to be collecting the rest of the sneakers that we left at Soul Station yesterday. Just arrived to Soul Station once again. Hey, What's up, Faj? How are you? How you doing? You Good ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, six uh, males between the ages of 17 and 18. Anthony, Soul Station. Oh, that was awesome. place. Who did? Anthony from Soul Station. It's a store. I can't stand it. You can skate in these. The dunks? Yeah, you can totally skate in those. Yeah. He wasn't lying. What's happening? Oh, what's happening? Oh, yeah. That's all I mean. Got it. Yay! I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. No problem. Sorry, brother. Hey. Wanted to say a quick couple things before we go ahead and close out this video. Anthony from Soul Station 704, bro, thank you so much for your generous donation of 60 plus pairs. Thanks to you, so many people can now enjoy amazing pairs of sneakers that they got. And I was blown away. I was expecting 5, 10 pairs of sneakers just like last year and we gave away about 20. But this time we did 60 and we took it up a notch. It made me so happy seeing that we can do that for all those kids in there. So thank you so much, Anthony. Your donation was super generous. Also, thank you to Thorlow Socks because they sent over those sock care packages and that, of course, really is a help. And lastly, I wanted to say thank you to the relatives because you guys are an amazing organization an amazing group of people I want to spread awareness with this video and educate my audience and anybody out there watching that if you are in a situation there is a safe place you can go and a place that will take you in and take care of you thank you guys for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys on another blazonary video it's blazonary I'm out stay positive everyone peace